guys, I am back with another review video and this time it is going to be on this. This is the Face Shop CC Cushion Intense Cover. I decided to do a review on this because I literally cannot find a YouTube video that reviews this specific item. There's a lot of Face Shop cushions that are out in the market right now. All I can find are reviews on other Face Shop cushion items. Like the most popular one is the Water Cushion Oil Control one. This actually comes in two variants. This is the CC Cushion Intense Cover and the other one is the Ultra Moist CC Cushion. I decided to get this one because I got really curious. I love CC creams and CC formulations and for it to say that it has an intense cover, that's quite different. A lot of CC creams are just very light and they seem to be like just like a tinted moisturizer. So it comes in this box and this is what it looks like. Just like any other cushion product, it comes with a mirror. So the first layer is where the applicator is located. So it comes with this like blue spongy type of applicator. And then when you open it up, that's where you see the cushion. That's where the foundation or the CC cream is. I got mine in the shade V201, that's apricot beige. This is actually the second shade. There are only three shades in the line. V103, which is pure beige. V201, which is the second or the medium uh, shade. And then their darkest is the V203, which is natural beige, which is not that dark, actually. It is still quite light. But that's actually normal for a lot of Korean brands. They tend to go on the lighter shade of things or the lighter shade of foundations. So this is V201. I got mine for 895 pesos, but it comes with a refill. This was on promotion, so I'm not sure if they still come with a free refill, but the price is still the same. It's still 895 pesos. I've been using this for almost a month now, and I actually like it. I would say though that it is just a light to medium coverage. If you're somebody who likes that full on perfect flawless face, this is not going to work for you. I did use this to cover my redness and also some acne scars. It didn't cover it fully, but it evened out my skin tone. Now let me read you the claims. It says that it would give you full coverage with an ultra natural finish. It says it's looming finish for brighter skin. It has uh, a special treatment for moisturizing, elasticity, and volume adding effects. It does have an SPF 50. I tried it with a flash. So it did give out a bit of a flashback, but since I do have a little bit of a lighter skin tone, it's not so bad. I have combination skin, so I do set my T-zone with powder. If you have oily skin, I suggest that you set your entire face with a powder. The only problem that I am having with this one in terms of longevity is all my T-zone area. That's, but that's pretty normal anyway uh, when I use other foundations too. Now, the first time I used this, I had a little bit of like flaky skin in this area and it did emphasize that. So if you have that problem, I suggest you exfoliate your skin first and then put moisturizer before putting this on because after I did that, you know, it, it worked really well. In terms of brightening my skin, it does brighten my skin. A lot of Korean products or face products usually do that anyway. For the moisturizing effect, I don't see any difference because I, I do put moisturizer before I put any face product on. But when I added this, there's no like extra hydration that I felt. Maybe it's just quickly absorbed by my skin, but no significant difference on that. Just to give you uh, an idea, if you're not too familiar about BB creams or CC creams, CC creams are usually lighter in formulation and they are more of a skincare product rather than a makeup product, at least for Asian brands. I want to start with the cons because I want to end on a good note. So. Number one is the shade availability. There are only three shades and they're really geared towards lighter or fair toned women. So if you do have tanned skin, I really don't suggest trying out this product unless they come out with darker tones. For the longevity, 
if you want to use this let's say for like 12 hours it is gonna last but you need to set your face really really well I don't have any other cons in terms of the price I think it's pretty affordable compared to the other cushion type of products that's out there like we can compare it to the Laneige one or the Etude House version they mostly cost more than a thousand pesos so this for $8.95 makeup with skincare benefits I think that's really worth it now the things I like about this is first of all cushion products are actually very good for traveling it's just so easy to put this in your bag and just bring it with you and by the way whenever I use this I don't use a concealer so it's just so quick you just tap this on the product put it on your face and you're good to go then it's also refillable so you just take this off you get a refill so if you've already bought one before you just go ahead and keep on buying the refill as for the applicator a lot of people say that they do prefer using their brushes or their beauty sponges but I personally like this it does get a little bit dirty but it's so easy to clean I just use a bar soap for this if you're from the Philippines I use safeguard and that's it any antibacterial bar soap would work well so I actually clean this up like after using it twice it's not a problem and I find that it's more effective when you use this to pat it on your skin that's the purpose of it anyway so there you have it guys that's my review for this face shop CC cushion intense cover I suggest you go ahead and try it out if you're really curious about that cushion trend <laughs> everybody's having their own version of the cushion formulation or that cushion product so I hope you enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and click on that like button subscribe if you haven't already and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter it's the same name and I will see you in my next video bye guys